Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, the Tuesday edition of Live from Dave's Office. We are so glad you are with us today. Today, our whole theme is about community outreach, community service. Uh, and without any further ado, our pastor, Dave Kettleson. Hey, welcome, everyone. Glad you checked in today. We're so, uh, so glad you faithfully watch on our podcast. Today, we have a special guest. His name is Bob Hershey. And Bob uh, is the coordinator for our evangelism, our outreach. And so, Bob, I'd like to introduce you to our guest today and tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, why you get so excited doing it. Hey, Dave, uh, great. Uh, I love, love outreach. I love being able to reach out into our community and be able to touch lives and see the difference that being God's hands and feet makes in our community. And it's really just been great here. We've uh, all uh, been under a little extra stress and duress, and we're not happy the tornado came through, but uh, it sure changed things for us as we uh, started reaching out and feeding our community every day there for three weeks, and then are continuing that on Tuesday evenings. Just tremendous opportunity to reach our community get to know our neighbors, and get really in touch with them. Uh, some of the things we're looking forward to is our single moms ministry uh, coming up and our men's group. That would uh, We got plans to do some single mom oil changes uh, here in the near future as we get life back to a little bit more uh, to normal. And uh, we actually have been donated... Uh, a car to give away to a single mom and have a couple more in the pipeline. Uh, so as needs come up, uh, we're getting lined up here to help out even more so in our community. Yeah, that's exciting. You know, um, when I was called about the car and shared it with you, it's just such a neat thing. In fact, this individual put new tires on the car, new lights, uh, had it, oil change. I mean, just work that car over to make certain that the person that received it, uh, it was it was in tip top shape. So uh, that's exciting. You know, to hear about the uh, that's that's really be neat. How are we going to change the oil in these cars? What are the plans for the uh, single parent outreach? Well, we will we will uh, try to pre schedule. Uh, as we find, as we advertise and find people that need their oil change, we'll try to make arrangements ahead of time to schedule them. And uh, hopefully we can work there at the church uh, on a Sunday afternoon after Rock Point is left. If they're, if they're there at the time, maybe we can get it in before they get back. Yeah. But uh, do the oil changes there. And they like say with arrangements ahead of time so we know we've got the proper filters and the oil that we need for that. I think that's exciting. You know, you, you mentioned, uh, Bob, that this this tornado and the, of course, the COVID-19 has kind of kept us uh, a little bit from doing certain things, but it's opened other doors. And um, I just appreciate so much the ministry of, of feeding the neighbors, going out for three weeks solid. And I know you started this and um, many have been a part of it, uh, feeding those neighbors of ours that got hit by this this uh, drastic tornado. Any particular stories that you can recall or anything that uh, even from our members that they've shared with you that stands out? Well, you know, it's just been really great uh, there those first three weeks to be uh, taking care of anybody who, who came up and needed to, you know, we had uh, city workers, we had power line workers, we had tree cutters, we had neighbors from behind us and neighbors from down the street, uh, just all kinds of people. We had, uh, I know that one day we had a mother came in, came in with three or four children in her van, and she was just so excited because she didn't have another meal. Wow. And to be able to get a meal that day, and, and as much as she wanted uh, for her and her kids. Uh, it just continues, and the opportunities that we see uh, coming from this in the future are just tremendous. The opportunity we'll have to touch our neighbors, 
uh, lives uh, as as things loosen up and we can get back together and we can uh, even set up tables and have a meal with them, share that meal at a table and get to know our neighbors better and our community and, and find their needs more. Yeah. And it will open so many more doors. Uh, I know Laura is talking about having a children's program uh, as things uh, free up. You know, I, I like. So it's just really, really. A it really is. I like your train of thought of how we're we're actually not just trying to feed them, but make connections with them, and in some way find a way to, to share the gospel. And uh, people need their needs met first. Now, Bob, you've also been a part of another ministry that I just. I am uh, also just so impressed with what has happened, and, and it's called Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Can you tell us a little bit about this ministry, how you got started in it? And, and I know something exciting happened last week, so don't miss that part also. So share with us no. about Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Sleep in Heavenly Peace is a ministry where we build and provide complete beds for children that don't have beds. And uh, that's complete with a new mattress, all new bedding, pillows, pillowcases, everything. And uh, Lord just brought the opportunity to me about a year and a half ago. And when I saw it, I said, man, this, this is just so needed. And really didn't even know how much it was needed. Uh, I knew I'd worked with homeless uh, families in Chattanooga and in Cleveland, Georgia, and knew that those families, when they got out of homelessness, needed beds for those kids I said this just uh, works right in with what I'm already doing and so as we got involved in it though man I found that the need was so much bigger than I uh, had ever imagined such that uh, and the volunteers we've just had so much from our community and volunteers come out so many from our church come out and we've had a couple of church build days and look forward to doing another one this year mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, last week, uh, the reality really hit when we delivered our 1,000th bed. 1,000, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, since February of last year. And we would have delivered that 1,000th bed in March had we not been slowed down by the uh, coronavirus. But uh, just excited to get into the homes and touch these young lives, give these kids a bed where they can sleep, get a good night's rest. And and go to school or get up and have and, and uh, feel rested. Uh, uh -huh. they, can, they can do better in all aspects of their life. Uh, but it has been amazing, and like I said, we have had a great uh, response. I love bringing our community together uh, and our church involved and mixed in with that. We've had probably probably forty five or fifty people are from our church directly involved in it, and. Uh, thousands, thousands of volunteers from our community uh, in the last year. So it's really been a great, great opportunity to reach out. We delivered a, a couple of beds just right down the road from the church last week to a uh, family who had survived the tornado. They were blessed. Their home was not damaged bad, uh, but just a couple blocks away, and we're able to share with them, hey, our church is just right around the corner. Mm -hmm. That is so neat. I think, you know, both Hal and I have, have seen the hands at work in this. We've been a part of it, too. Um, tell me, I, and then I'm going to open it up to Hal, see if he has any questions. But my last question for you, Bob, is for all our viewers to hear, why do you do this? The, the big why. So tell yeah. us, why do you do this? I do it because I've got a God that's in love with me. Mm -hmm. And he does so much to take care of me. And all I, my response has got to be reach out and help other people. Uh, you know, I, I can't do anything without him. Yeah. And, but with him, I can do all things. And he's given me these burdens. He's laid these burdens on me. And to reach out and touch life and to see the light in somebody's eyes, whether he's giving them food whether we're providing them uh, with a vehicle, whether we're providing them with a bed is just amazing. You know, and to know that we're doing what Jesus would do is just tremendous. Amen. Amen. 
Well, Hal, do you have any questions or any thoughts on uh, what we've been talking about today? Oh, absolutely. Dave, uh, Bob, i got a couple of questions for you. Uh, you were talking about the single mom's ministry and the oil changes. What other things, uh, when, if we, when we create this ministry at the church, what other services or options are we going to be able to provide for single parents? Uh, you know, that's a good question. And I And I think that uh, we have temporarily. I think we lost him. I'm back. Oh, oh you're back. back? Okay. Yeah, sleep in heavenly peace call coming in. Just declined them. Uh, okay. We're, you know, uh, we want to grow this ministry for single parents and reach out to them and possibly do some. Uh, we might have a mom's night out or a parent's night out, a time to give them a break. Uh, we might do some home repairs for them. Uh, some handyman work, some things just take a little burden off and take a load off. Uh, there's so much that we can do in that area. The Single Moms program that we have is a tremendous program. It's got uh, spiritual, physical, and financial aspects in it to help uh, single parents do better financially, to uh, uh, you know, set up budgets and those kind of things. And the uh, learn how to cope and deal uh, with children whenever it's a lot of work uh, being a single parent. Yes, and, it uh, is. So this, this is, a, it's another huge ministry that uh, is wide open. Now, one of the, I mean, one of the things that, that I want to make sure that people know, this is something that is starting in Hamilton that we are going to be involved with. If people are watching this, um, how do they get involved with, uh, these type of, of activities at the church? I mean, who do they reach out to? Uh, what do we do to, to, to get these people together? Uh, they can, uh, is they will contact me directly. Uh, I put them in contact. Hillary Monroe is our single mom's ministry uh, leader. And we have other people in our outreach uh, that we can connect with and hook them up with a spot where they can get to work. Uh, if they want to help with the community uh, dinners, uh, connect with Cindy and Ashley Brackett. Cindy Favors or Ashley Brackett, uh, heading that up. And, uh, you know, and, and the men's ministry is where I'm hoping that we will uh, plug that in to coordinate with them to do the oil changes. Uh, just We're going to be hitting every aspect of the church that we can. And like I said, we, we do. We've got openings for everybody. Uh, the bed ministry, uh, we started delivering beds again. That's how we got to our thousandth bed. We've delivered two weekends and a, a Wednesday last week. And uh, there's, there's places for everybody in these programs. We don't, we don't have room for anybody to sit around. Uh, we've got plenty to do. Excellent. That's great. I did... I also want to throw in there, if anyone's watching and, and you have questions or you want to be involved, uh, the uh, email address is on the screen right now, info at hamiltonchurch.com. If there's anything that you want to share with us, if you want to get involved, just shoot an email to that address, or you can go to our Facebook page and press the message button. Leave us a message there. We'll make sure we get back to you. But we have so many opportunities to get involved that we are really excited about this and we need you we want you uh, you know community is our middle name literally hamilton community church so we're really working uh to build up our outreach to what we do because that's what this church and this heart of this church is really all about mm -hmm. amen well, i tell you i really enjoyed uh talking with you bob and great questions how you know if if you ever think that there's well what can i do I, i've been searching for some kind of way to reach out that we will give you options there's no doubt at hamilton community church that's like al said our middle name and bob you know one of the things i love about what you say and that is it's not evangelism it's what it's called evangel living evangel living it's a way of life it's not just something we do it's not an event it's who we are and so if Christ is living in your heart, 
you want to share this good news and we'll do it in tangible ways like building beds for kids or feeding the community so there are many ways that you can reach out and show the love of Christ and and this is such a, a wonderful opportunity so I want to thank you Bob for being on and Hal for putting this together uh, is there anything else either one of you want to say before we uh, kind of wrap things up yeah, just real quick, uh, we had an opportunity, and this is another ongoing opportunity with this tornado. And it's we know that it's been it's four weeks behind us, but we just went last Sunday. Uh, a group of us went over to one of our church members' house, helped clean up her yard, and cleaned up some in her neighbor's yard. Made contacts with her neighbor, and this is going to be ongoing. Uh, we can go pick up sticks and twigs and branches in people's yard. Uh, there is just really a lot that we can do to touch our, our community and our neighbors. Uh, one of our church members posted uh, this week that he's got loads and loads and loads of firewood. It's all cut to firewood length, and if anybody needs it, it's there for the taking. Cool. Uh, and there is plenty of firewood right now, but you know this is just another uh, simple thing that can be done to help and reach out. Well, thank you so much. Really appreciate uh, your taking the time to uh, do this podcast, Bob. Appreciate your ministry. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching today and, and being a part of this next Thursday. Oh, by the way, don't want tomorrow morning. Um, but, you know, we haven't set a time, but I'm thinking eight o'clock, but kind of watch for it. Uh, we're planning to do a little devotional. I plan to do one each day. And my target time is around eight o'clock maybe 8, 8.15, and if you'd like to just, it's only going to be 10 minutes or less, so it's not going to take up a big part of your day, but just a little devotional. We're going to be going through the book of John, so I'd like to invite you to that too, and thank you again for watching today, and let's, let's close with prayer. Father in heaven, thank you for this time together to, to understand there's so many needs, and we can't do it all, but we can do something, and so... Uh, Maybe this, this will encourage someone to do something with uh, Sleep in Heavenly Peace or reaching out to feed the community, and, and we can help them uh, get started. Thank you, Father, for all you do and for your love for us. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and, and may God bless you. I think what Dave meant to say there was may God bless you. Real good. We'll see you tonight at the church for the community dinner. Come on out, and uh, yes. you guys take care. We'll see you on Thursday. Yeah, tonight too. Thank you.